Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to do a short video of uh, a few cards that I worked on for Gallery 2019 and also this year I started working on doing covers for PSA's SMR price guide book. This is the October issue. I'm not going to attempt to say his name because I'm sure I will butcher it, but this is the cover I did for the October issue. Uh, it was done with oil paints on canvas. Um, I was really pleased with the way it came out. I think I had about two weeks to work on it. Um, I had just recently finished uh, November's issue, so I'm not going to say what that is, but I will reveal it when it comes out and show it to you quickly. I was real happy with this. And inside, I have a ad showing some of my gallery pictures. Uh, artwork that I did for gallery and some sketch cards uh, for some upcoming sets um, you can find it on page 105 if you happen to have this issue and I'm always open for commissions if anyone's interested uh, just so you know when I do sketch cards the work is not nearly as highly detailed as the work I would do on a larger piece on canvas so it would definitely be a different quality um, as you may know um, I worked on Gallery 2018, and I also had the great opportunity to work on 2019. Here is, um, as you may already seen, uh, unfortunately I didn't get to do a video when these first came out, but uh, this is the Aaron Judge that I did. These were released on National Baseball Card Day. Um, they were also done oil paints, colored pencils. Um, the originals were kind of like a 4x6 or 5x7 size um, painting. Um, I would have liked to have done a little better on the Aaron Judge. I should have taken a little bit more time. Um, it, maybe I probably didn't have it at the time. And then on the back it says our name, uh, whatever other artists worked on it. Um, I got to do a few of these. I actually did 10 total, but not all were used uh, for this preview set. I'm not sure if they're going to just be used um, as uh, inserts. Uh, or you know base cards for the 2019 full series so we'll have to wait and see uh, this is a Ken Griffey jr. Um, that I did uh, I tried to get him signed I had his address and sent it to it but unfortunately got it returned to me which I can understand some players don't want to do signings through the mail and they get tons of mail I'm sure um, so I got to send back to me but that's fine maybe another time and this one was also done by me one of my favorite ones I worked on um, and here's Ronald Kuna Jr. He, uh, they're doing really well at the moment playing against St. Louis. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to win. They lost last night, unfortunately. Um, and like I said, this is another one I worked on. And got to do a Shoei Otano. Otani, sorry, my bad. <laughs> um, that I got to work on, which is... I'm pretty happy with this. It's a little more pale than I would would have liked. Um, sometimes that can be adjusted in Photoshop or whatever, but they left it as the way I painted it. Uh, this is my Mike Trout, which I was happy to get to work on. I also did uh, another Mike Trout for Gallery 2019 that you'll see coming out. And my last one is the Clayton Kershaw. Pretty happy with all of these. I, I, did a little different for the preview the background is multiple colors mixed together I, I did the I guess I should have stayed with this theme but I did it a little different you'll see when they actually come out and I did a lot for 2019 um, I'd say at least a hundred some cards I believe I painted so we'll see how many actually come out because often um, sometimes they're not used for either because um, they didn't go they come up to the majors or they went back down and uh, other contract issues so we'll see how that goes but uh we'd love to get this signed at some time um not sure if that'd be possible but uh i hope you enjoyed these if you did get them i'm always looking for more as you can see i have a crazy collection of them that i started for myself um kind of hoarding them all um but if if you have any i'm i'm interested in, in getting some more I have quite a few sheets full of each player. Sorry with the glare, I'm trying to get this best as I can here. And uh, so I have quite a few pages of each player. 
um, some more than others. I think there was a short print on some, um, it seems anyways, when I tried to find them. And there's my uh, Aaron Judge, which I have about a page and a half of those. And Clayton Kershaw. And these are some of my older ones from last year that I have a few of. I need to get some more. I didn't get as many of these. Um, I've been trying to get a crazy amount of Aaron Judges, but I've only got a page, not even a page and a half of those. I think I sent some out to be graded. Um, I asked, there's also artist proof versions, um, and there's a few other ones that I have thrown in here. But uh, I, I sent a lot of stuff out to be graded. I'll be showing that shortly. I have like 115 cards. Um, so I will share with you uh, shortly. Another real quick thing, I, you might have seen I recently opened uh, Playoff Portraits 2003. I found this kind of an odd thing to do, but when they inserted, um, instead of totally embedding these uh, insert pieces like a bat relic or a jersey, they actually slide in and out of the, the card itself, which I thought was kind of strange. I don't know if they did it for purposes of the people who pulled them to actually be able to do this, or it was just easier for them to insert this way. I can't imagine so. Um, but it's kind of interesting when you pull it down it, um, on the other autographs, I think it says autograph, uh, authentic autograph, and then it has um, the player's name, and then underneath it has, you know, authentic jersey or used bat. Um, just thought it was kind of interesting that they slide in and out like that. Um, fortunately, this one was horribly cut. Um, alrighty, I uh, hope you uh, enjoy 2019 gallery coming out in November. I'm really looking forward to that, and I will definitely have some videos on that. So check back soon. Thanks. Bye.